Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and this is going to be my top five recommendations for the month of March. I'm going to start with my other first. I know I haven't done my other in a couple months, but it's still in play, and if I find something or if I watch something that I want to talk about that's maybe not horror, I'll bring it in. And the movie that I'm referring to is Force 5. Now, I have a lot of nostalgia for this movie. I saw this with my father um, when I was a little kid. This came out in 1981. And it's actually from Fred Weintraub, the guy who uh, directed Enter the Dragon. And it's very similar. He uses a very similar uh, storylines in a lot of his films. Um, this just has, it's not a great movie by any stretch. But it was one of those movies that never left me, and I watch occasionally, um, every couple years or so. And I watched it and just had a uh, another, you know, another time and had a blast with it once again. And kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit, because I have a lot of nostalgia for this film. Um, some of the fight sequences are kind of, eh. But it's just a fun movie, and they take some really creative liberties with this film. So, um, yeah. Wanted to talk about Force 5 a little bit. I love this movie. So much fun. All right, let's get to my two honorable mentions, which are going to be All Fun and Games. I had a really good time with this one. Joe and I had talked about watching this, and I had forgotten that he had actually got this and watched it by myself, which... I'll probably watch it with him again because I actually enjoyed this one. I thought this was a pretty fun movie. My other honorable mention is a Shudder original called From Black. Um, wasn't really expecting much out of this one, but I really enjoyed it. I have had pretty good luck with a majority of the um, Shudder originals that I own, that I've watched. I've liked them. You know, most of them are decent, and some of them are really good, and this is one of the ones, in my opinion, that's really good. And um, the only one that I, so far, that I've watched that I didn't like at all was Bad Things. I just didn't like it. Um, yeah. So that's From Black. Really a good flick. Yeah. Okay, getting into my top five. Um, now, these aren't going to be in really any kind of order except for the first two. Um, this is one I watched called The Offering, and I really enjoyed it. This is a very, um, ethnic sort of horror film. And I like stuff like that if it's done, in my opinion, correctly. And this one felt like it was very, very true to spirit. Um, and this is, of course, is about an unborn child and a, um, ritual, I guess. Yeah. So at number four, and I'm going to leave this one out there, is a movie that is almost the same thing, but a different title, and I liked it a little bit more. And it's called Lullaby. And I wasn't expecting that because I'd heard some buzz on the offering. Hadn't really heard anything about Lullaby. Didn't even know it existed. But for some reason, I like this more. I think the payoff was a little bit better. I like the characters a little bit more. Both kind of ethnic horror films. Um, but I, I like them both. I thought they were really good. So, The Offering and Lullaby. And that's kind of the reason why I put them beside each other is because they're very similar. All right, coming in at number three... And I don't really rank these much anymore. I'm doing it this month just to do it. Um, this movie's called Alone. Now, I originally had this in What's the Bag, Jay. People didn't vote for it, so it got stuck back in the bags. Um, and it got kind of lost in my collection. And I dug it out and watched it. This is not setting the world on fire, this movie. This movie has been done a thousand times. And this is actually a remake of a... Swedish film, if I'm not mistaken, or a Danish film, I can't remember, but this is a remake, and it's done extremely well. Like I said, 
The subject matter isn't going to set the world on fire, but I really like this movie. I thought it was done extremely well. Uh, coming in at number two is another Shutter original. I'd gotten some DVDs from uh, this source that I have that buys movies and then sells them to me. Um, and this one is called Spoonful of Sugar. Um, I really enjoyed this. Haven't heard great things about it, but I absolutely loved it. It took a turn for me that I did not expect. Um, yeah. Spoonful of Sugar. Very good. And number one, and a lot of people are going to say, well, it's about damn time. And I'm going to say that too. I finally saw Spider Baby. What the hell took me so long? I don't know. Um, I love this movie. I think it's fantastic. I can see where a lot of influence came with uh, Toby Hooper and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I love this movie. I think it's great. Now, um, some potentially troubling news about Spider Baby, something that I found out, is that Dustin Ferguson actually, I guess, got the rights to this film and is making a remake called Spider Baby. Yeah. Sorry, not really looking forward to it, but maybe he'll surprise me. I don't know. But yeah, Spider Baby is awesome. Then we have Spoonful of Sugar, just to recap. Alone. Awesome movie. Lullaby. The Offering, which I thought was a very, very well-made film. From Black. All Fun and Games. And my other and... One of my very nostalgic films, uh, Force 5. Those are my recommendations. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. And remember, guys, physical media matters. And until next time, peace.